I feel like an ultra nerd because as I'm watching it, uh, like there are things that it talks about that because I've gone through biology, I know what it's talking about. Good morning, internet friends, or rather, good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Emerald? Damn, I'm glad mommy's home. How are we, Riddler? You closed the door on me. That was rude. And now you're talking for me, and I don't appreciate it. Now I gotta try to get under this door. That didn't work. Maybe if I come over here. Emerald, are you gonna help me get the door open? Why are you talking for me? Stop it. Okay, I gotta get out this door. You're gonna let me out, right? 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 I'm gonna chew my reindeer. So, it's been a very long day. Um, started out with, I couldn't get to sleep last night. Yay! I was like, why am I still awake at midnight? And then I remembered, hey... I forgot to take my sleep medicine. Yay! Because I had to stay up a little bit later to do laundry. And I was like, you know, I'm going to just take it before I go to bed. No, I forgot. Um, and then around 2 a.m. had to take the dogs out. And then Riddler decided, I'm going to sniff around in the laundry room. Why? I don't know. And then I went and come back upstairs. So I just went with MRL. And... After a while, my brain was just going on like, what if he's eating something in the garbage? What if it's poisonous? What if it kills him? And I'm just like, oh my gosh, brain, shut up. Finally, I was like, fine. I will go find this freaking dog. I'm talking about you, Riddler. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Does my pants smell good? Let me out of this door, woman. Um. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the dog's. Oh, Lord. So finally get him back upstairs. I ended up sleeping in. And at one point, I guess the dogs knew that I had hit snooze at least four times because they were hitting me in the head with their paws. So I was like, fine. I'll get up. Got to work on time, which is good. Um, Had an anxiety attack moment where, like... The keeper I'm working under was listing off a bunch of things we need to get done, and my brain was like, we need to get this all done now. Even though I know that's not true. But it was just like, we need to do it now. So I went from, yeah, anxiety is good to go, to, ah. and yes, I'm using the faces, like the emojis I sent one of my friends. So, yay. Um, so I worked my absolute butt off today. I ended up getting really lightheaded and weak and almost passed out while I was trying, while I was, like, I threw 16 bales of hay out of the barn, second floor, and then got all 16 bales moved into the feed room, so I was super tired. And then got home, have to go right back out because I have to get dog food and hamburger buns. Got that. And then Dad forgot something at CVS, but luckily he went and I didn't have to go, so yes. And now I'm in my room just chilling. I need to eventually um, get in the shower if I can get up. I'm so, so tired. <laughs> so that is how the day has been. So just wanted to check in with you guys and I'll check back in with you later. So before I get in the shower, I wanted to show you guys a little MacGyver hack. Thumbs up if you know what MacGyver is. Um, so, if you are in need of a hair tie, and you don't have a hair tie, but you have rubber gloves available, or like, not rubber gloves, more like latex gloves or something, just rip off the wrist part, and you can use it to tie your hair. Because I may or may not have done that today. So I was wearing a beanie, and then I got really hot, so. There you go, you can use the wrist part of a glove to tie up your hair. Exciting! Hey guys! So there's my little boy. 
And there's my two big dogs. Aren't they cute? So, here's what my evening consisted of. Because I didn't really vlog much. I sat around trying to get energy to do things. Took a shower. Got dinner. Had the energy to finally put away my laundry. <laughs> Did the vlog. And then I ended up watching episodes of Ozzy and Drix. Thumbs up if you know what Ozzy and Drix is. That was one of my favorite shows. I think it was like... When did it come out? Like somewhere in early 2000s maybe? Um, before 2010 I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember. But if you're interested in watching it, it's on Kiss Cartoon. Which uh, makes me so happy. And now... I feel like an ultra nerd. Because as I'm watching it, uh, like there are things that it talks about that because I've gone through biology, I know what it's talking about. Like one episode they talk about like having a protein sequence to turn strep throat into pneumonia. And I was like, oh, I understand what protein sequences are. Not that I like them. <laughs> I hated learning about protein sequences, but I know what it is. So I was kind of nerding out for a little bit. I know, I, I, I don't have a life. And then, as I usually do, I reflected it on my life. I'm like, you know, what if the lives we have are like Ozzy and Drix? Like, it sounds stupid, but like all of our cells are personified. <laughs> I also did this with Inside Out. I really did. And I'm pretty sure fear and sadness battle over dominance of my brain. <laughs> but... I was like, you know, what would it look like to have a mental illness through, like, the view of Ozzy and Drix? Like, obviously, the brain chemistry and, like, how the brain cells respond would have to be different. And, I mean, if they ever remade the show, they'd need to do that. Because then they could also educate people on how Anxiety, depression, any mental illness is caused by brain chemicals. And of course, if the chemicals in your brain are screwed up, that's going to cause your cells to screw up. And just a lot of things to screw up. Which, of course, people believe that mental illness isn't real anyway, which is stupid. But, yeah, exciting. And then, I know I'm sounding, I'm rambling and I'm sounding like a total loser right now. Oh, well. But these are thoughts that I tend to have. At least they're not anxious thoughts, they're just really weird what-if situations. So there's, so in that episode with the protein sequence, they had like, where you get an injection and that medicine turns out to be some character and they do things. And I'm like, you know, what would it look like with my medications? <laughs> it's like every single day and night, I have to have constant reinforcement put into my brain to be like, okay, brain, chill. But of course, my brain can't chill 100%. It's still going to act weird. Because, fun fact for you guys, in case you don't know about how medications work with mental illness, um, well, my brain just kind of blanked for a minute. Where are you going? But people like to think that if you're medicated, oh, it's like a quick fix. Everything's going to be cured. Everything will be great. That's a lie. Um, from... Do I remember what my what Dr. Boggess said? It's like, I think mental illness can be treated with like 20% like medication. Like medication can help with just 20%. And then the rest of the 80% is you relearning a brand new thinking process, which is hard. I mean, I still haven't even gotten that thinking process figured out yet. And... I've been to therapy several times. So, exciting. <laughs> yeah, there's my rambling about mental illness and a cartoon. But I love this cartoon because it's also science-y. I'm, I'm a nerd, but that's okay. I accept my biology nerdiness. And I embrace it. Just like I will embrace you guys. Ready? Let's have an internet hug. Ready? Go! Yay! Internet hug! My kneecap just popped as soon as I did that. Because I was twisting around. Wow! Can you tell I'm tired? 
when I get really tired, I'm either philosophical or really weird. And 96% of the time, I'm totally weird. But you guys already knew that. If you've been following me since the beginning, you know I'm a weirdo. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed before I get any more weird. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the day. Do you like science? Just easy. If you don't, that's cool. If you do, that's cool. Like, it could be any sciences. Any. Because there's so many, like biology, chemistry, physics. I personally like biology. I don't like chemistry. I don't like physics. But that's me. So, if you like science, let me know. And, you know, why do you like science? If you don't like science, why? I mean, no big deal. Just put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Chewy Dog. What are you doing? You're such a weirdo. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Sassy.